Hi, and welcome to Benza Vineyards in Oregon's beautiful Willamette Valley. This continues our In the Vineyard series, and today we'd like to do a little drop down into this very block we're flying over and talk about something called trunk renewal. There are two ways to change a varietal on an existing grapevine. The first is through grafting. This was the subject of our first two videos in this series. That tiny graft you just saw looks like this right now and doing very well up into the third wire and beyond. In fact, we've even had to come in and hedge by hand. And that is a mature vine to the right. It shows you where they're at right now. There's another way to change the varietal on a grapevine, and that is through trunk renewal. Down in block two, you just saw we were actually grafting because we wanted to switch the base plant from Pinot Gris into Chardonnay. Well, we're here in another block, block three, and this block was planted in 1996, so it's 24 years old now, and it was planted to Chardonnay. But it was grafted a little while later to Pinot Noir. So what we want to do for our bubbles program, we got plenty of Pinot Noir, we want more Chardonnay. And the easiest way to do that is not to rip out the entire block here and replant because not only would there be great expense in doing that, but this block would be out of action for probably four to five years. The easiest thing to do is to train up a sucker, the suckers that grow from the bottom of the trunk and let that, which will be Chardonnay, because remember this is a Chardonnay plant, and then train that up to be the new trunk. So let's take a little closer look at that and see what that means. And here's a little close up of what we're talking about. This is a sucker that was drawn up about two years ago as a little green shoot. It's now very lignified after two years, woody that is. And we tied it off to keep it safe from mowers, from hedgers, from my boots. And it's strong enough now to carry the fruit. So this actually comes up here, bends this way, and is tied around this wire. And this fruit that hopefully you could see in frame, is actually going to be Chardonnay. Now on the other side, we're not sure. This is most likely going to be Pinot Noir. We won't know for about uh, probably another week as the raisin starts to come and the Pinot Noir starts to change color. The Chardonnay doesn't change color, but the Pinot Noir does. And so we'll know for sure. And the goal in the end is to get this thick enough so that it will become, we'll split it off and it will become Chardonnay on both sides and it will become the new trunk. And when it's strong enough, we will actually cut this existing trunk down here. Now remember, this has a 24 year old root system that probably, hard to say, but probably goes down 12, 15, perhaps even 20 feet for water. So it's got a big propulsion system that's 25 years old which will allow this thing to grow and grow quickly. And that is trunk renewal. In this case, changing a varietal from, uh, from Pinot Noir back to Chardonnay. Well, let's take a little closer look. This is the sucker that we trained up on this particular trunk. Again, it's a Chardonnay sucker. We did it about two years ago and we use this ribbon to keep it intact so it doesn't get hit by a mower or a hedger or get trampled by us. Well, this side is probably Pinot Noir. We're not sure, we won't be exactly sure until we reach Varese in about a week or two from now and this turns color. We expect that we'll have about 65% Chardonnay out of this block this year and about 35% Chardonnay. It's challenging doing videos with chickens and dogs, and if you saw the, this is Nebby by the way, if you saw the, uh, the little video on Vineyard Life, you'll understand this a little bit better. I had to wait three times to get the chickens out of the shot, um, but they are hovering right out of camera range right now, dying to come over here. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the subscribe button, and by all means, check us out at Benza.com. Until the next video, Take care. Bye-bye.